in Oklahoma at Mabel Bassett Correctional Facility opening our 15th classroom. These are the faces of a brighter tomorrow. About two dozen Mabel Bassett prisoners are getting an opportunity to better themselves while behind bars. I want to show everybody that we are still valuable as prisoners. Um, as ex-felons going out there, we can make a difference and we want to show everybody we can. The Oklahoma Department of Corrections is partnering with The Last Mile. The unique program teaches marketable job skills. Since its inception, The Last Mile has zero percent recidivism amongst its returned citizens. Dozens of men and women in several other states have already successfully completed the program, which teaches computer coding, web and logo design, and software engineering. One of the things that that's really, was really important to me is like being able to take care of my family, right? Um, I have a daughter in college, and I'm helping put my daughter through college, right? Um, that in itself is amazing. Mabel Bassett is the first Oklahoma prison chosen for this re-entry opportunity. And I know that each and every one of you, if you could take it back and whatever mistake you've made in the past, uh, you would do it. And so we believe in second chances in Oklahoma. Governor Kevin Stitt says prison reform is one of the main pillars of his new administration. These folks are going to one day be back in society. We need to make sure that we train them, reduce recidivism. And so that's what I'm just excited about is this partnership here. Board member MC Hammer. I'll be honest, who was out here just to see MC Hammer? <laughs> believes the last mile helps inmates distance themselves from their bad decisions. Not, not only have I been given a second chance, I've been given a second chance, a third chance, a fourth chance. You know, uh, the very foundation of uh, my spirituality and, and my faith is about second chances. So uh, I wouldn't be uh, true to myself if I didn't believe in giving others or trying to help others have an opportunity for a second chance. And the program will allow these women to be judged on their new skills and not the stigma of their past. To make sure that everybody receives a second opportunity and to provide them with the skill set so they can go out there and compete. A rich investment in people. The last mile is paving their road to success.